May 6th, parents of a middle school student in Rigby got the shocking news that their daughter was wounded in a school shooting, shot by another student. Local News 8's Evan Thomason talked to them exclusively about the concerns they have with the response from authorities that day. The parents of Addison Scarborough, who was shot in the arm on May 6th, remain concerned that little has changed that led to the shooting. No child deserves to go through this. I mean, this is just ridiculous. Parents say the concerns about the actions of the Jefferson County School District actually started before the shooting itself. The shooter had made a threat on the previous Friday on TikTok. Rigby Middle School was made aware, but she was suspended for only one day the next Monday. When Monday rolls around, my sister-in-law emailed the principal and said, hey, I don't feel safe sending my kids to school. What has been done? Asking these questions. And he wrote back saying that everything is fine. We've investigated. The kids are safe to come back to school. The shooter opened fire three days later. And since then, two gun threats at the same school have followed. The parents are begging the school district to do something to fix it. We have so many resources in this town and community, and the superintendent and principal are just ignoring, I mean, large amounts of funds that we can implement all kinds of programs. I mean, there's to be proactive, <clears throat> not just to clean up the mess, but... And bring in professionals that handle active shooters. The Jefferson County School District stated that they would not have a direct comment about this, but did point out the two resources they have relied on during this time. The Jefferson County Sheriff's Office has trained for years on these scenarios. The county has also used the services of Teton Counseling Center to help comfort and care to the ongoing trauma of their students. We have um, several therapists within the school providing on-site on support for those that need it during the day. Um, obviously this is not meant to be a long-term solution and so we look at it as an acute care where we can take care of some of those initial um, triggers that happen but then we work to referring those children with the help of their parents to agencies that can do more long-term help with those clients. The police department, Teton Counseling Center, and the parents of Addison Scarborough are all hoping to work together to combat this. Superintendent, principals, teachers, the, uh, the, sh RO. the sheriff's department, and the child advocacy centers, the health and welfare, like everyone needs to come together and be involved in all the schools in this county and be there for children that are struggling. The Teton Counseling Center plans to continue to work with these students for the foreseeable future. The parents also suggested many tips for the school to use, including having more contact with parents, having a stricter code of conduct, and helping to resolve the depression before it gets out of hand. Reporting in the studio, I'm Evan Thomason.